Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We're going to be doing a mod review today. We're going to be using the Freightliner FLC flat top. And we have Pingo's um, hopper trailer. Now there is an issue with the lighting on the hopper trailer. And I will show you all that um, when we get done with the run. And we have corn. So let's go run. Feel a little bit loud. You know, I don't do too many uh, modded trucks, guys, but I want to get in here and kind of do a, I want to kind of bring back the modded um, area where we'll, every once in a while we'll uh, do like a mod review. That's what I want to kind of do. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to turn this down a little bit so it won't be too loud for you guys on the inside of the truck. That's not too bad. Alright, let's go right. So the truck today is running a cat engine, a C15. We'll talk about the truck and the trailer after we uh, drop the load. doing well <clears throat> took some time off from uh doing videos uh kind of relax a little bit so we're back we're back in it gonna try to hit it hard this year what i'm hoping for oh, get ready to turn left a little bit wide here now one thing I can say about this truck that I don't like is at night the headlights are a little bit too bright for me and so some of that bright it's like well you can't see the road no uh, you wrong uh, you pass the road because you can't see it because it's so ready bright. To turn left. A lot of turns. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Kind of being quiet right now, guys. Try to get this uh, old front out of the speed here. So hope I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone enjoy the holidays. 
See if we can get it up to 75 here. Go straight on. That's right. Get past this. We're going to go ahead and get a thumbnail. Love the new camera option for the game. Oh, look, I didn't even see him sitting up. Look at that. A trooper sitting up on the hill. That's a pretty good camera option right there. Get down a little bit, I guess. Alright, there we go. Got our thumbnail photo. So guys, if you have not heard, SCS has got a lot of stuff they're working on for this game. Um, you know, obviously all of it won't come out this year. Um, you know, there's a lot that they're working on. They've already said a lot of it won't come out. Uh, they are working. They're going to redo. We have six new trucks coming. Uh, we have four trucks that can be redone. Or six trucks can be redone. Four trucks, new trucks coming for ATS. They got more content coming for Texas when Oklahoma comes out. Because it's around the border between Oklahoma and Texas, so they need Oklahoma to come out. Plus, Kansas is in the works. They have a lot. Uh, they got a new graphics engine they're working on. I'm not sure if that'll come out this year or not. For the game. So they got a lot that they're doing. Got 165 miles to go. Using the Freightliner FLC. Flat top.
kind of being quiet right now, guys. Take a look at the outside of the truck with this uh, with Pinga's trailer. Awesome looking trailer. Uh, it does have a light issue. Um, I really hope Pinga can fix this light issue. Um, so Pinga, if you watch the video, you know, that's something I've seen so far that's wrong with the trailer. Uh, I'll show you the lighting on the trailer in the video, but it's too bad the lights don't work. So I am still running uh, Jazzy Cat's traffic mods and his trailer packs in here. I'm going to see uh, how, how bad it makes it lag if we keep it in. Quick run, we ain't got 30 miles to go.
We're here. You took your damn time. Take a good look at the front of this uh, Freightliner FLC and Pinga's trailer. All right, we drove excellent. 242 miles. Took us eight hours and nine minutes to get here. We're saving 33.1 gallon of fuel. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the truck and the trailer here. You know I like to uh, show off everything when I do these mod reviews here. All right, so this is our truck. Right, this is the Freightliner FLC. It comes in three cab options. It comes in a day cab. A flat top, uh, 36 inch sleeper, and then you have a 60 inch sleeper. It is both flat tops. You have uh, three chassis, a three chassis, a 241 by six, six and a half, six by four, uh, 150 gallon tank, which is probably that right there. All right, then you have a uh, the well base, the 265. 6x4, 220 gallon tank. And then you have a 6x290, six 6x4, a a uh, 220 gallon tank for the truck. Engine options you have a Cats. Like you, the low, your lowest engine is probably this one right here, a Cummins 555 with 275 horsepower. All the way down to a yeah, all the way down, to, uh, all the way down. That you go to the. I am using some of Z mods uh, engine packs, so some of this is Z mod stuff. So you may not see some of the engines that I have here, because I am using some of Z mods uh, engine packs. Transmissions you go from a full of 10 speed. 13 speed, 18 speed. Not you don't have one with a retarder. All right, you have four interiors. You have the uh, the brown, uh, like a granite gray, red and blue. All right, this is colors. You have uh, basic colors. You have a few skins that come with the truck. As a Walmart skin, a paint job. So yeah, you have your basic colors and uh, the um, couple of different paint jobs. Come with the truck. Now, this is your customization options for the truck. You have bud reflectors. You have three different types of um, fronts here, like for your grill. 
Get fold of it bumpers. You have one front mirror. Two of the uh, of these that gives you all your lights. Uh, mirror with lights. Um, you have the reflectors. This is your lights for the cab. You have side lights. You can add the extension there. So that is the outside of the truck. Pretty much it'd be the same thing like with your um here. That's pretty much all the um uh, I am using I do have Smarties Icoa pack and I have Vipers Icoa pack in, so you won't see that maybe on yours unless you have those. <clears throat> but on the inside Excuse me. On the inside, you pretty much just basic. You can have your steering wheel. It is your steering wheel uh, supported. This is a bumper. That's for the outside. Uh, this is where you put your GPS, license plate, steering wheel, and steering wheel. So all that's pretty basic. And nothing back your truck looks good though. Right, so that is the truck we looked at today. We're going to go ahead and look at the trailer. Alright, so this is uh, Pinga's Hopper Trailer. Now the only problem that I've seen with this truck is when you go into your uh, options here, your accessories, you can put lights here. Now these lights don't work. Uh, I'm going to put one right there. See, it doesn't work. So, uh, as of right now, there's something I'm seeing wrong with the trailer. Is your side lighting don't work? It has a ton of options. Put lighting on it, but it doesn't work. So right here is more. It's for your back lighting. This is for more mud flaps. Also, the controller looks really good. Uh, but we need to update the lighting issue on it. But the lights will, will not work on it. So that is all. Then you come. It comes with um. Yeah, you can do a double or you can do a single. So ping up your after man. You do watch the. So I know sometimes you watch the videos. Uh, uh, love the trailer. Love the grain trailer. The hopper trailer it needs to be fixed. The lights need to be fixed on it. They're not working. All right, guys, that's what we're going to wrap it up today. I want to get here and do a, a, a double mod review on the Freightliner FLC and the Winston Pinga's uh, Hopper Trailer. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the channel. And have a good day.